Hi. From the Maker's Corner again. Oh, this was exciting. Trying to start this up again. Uh, first, the when I tried to play in this episode, I was recording white noise. I had to delete the, even... Oh, Murphy's Law. So I uploaded the video to YouTube, and then I noticed that the sound was screwed up. <laughs> so, anyway, better chance this time. Um, yeah, and then the um, camera feed from GoPro stopped working. Uh, that was so strange. I had to re reboot the, um, the uh, video encoder device. What else was going wrong today? Hmm. Can't remember. No. Well, anyway, now everything's sorted out. Anyway, let's have a look. We have an exciting moment to have here. We have, um, let's hope this works now. So I switch to that. I need to take the extra speakers off. Oh, the sound might get screwed up. Let's hope it doesn't. Anyway, here we have the box. Yep, so that's done. So we have um, the temperature sensor for the end of the pipe. We have the heat block with the thermistor. And then we have an ambient temperature measurement. And then um, I'm going to extend this with some air turbulence fans. But um, that will be a little bit later. I've been working a little bit on the scripts to, or the script to read the temperature sensors and um, I was thinking we might be able to go through some different options for for gathering uh, the and saving the information from the, from the testing and also setting up the control for the, for the temperature block. But anyway, I'm going to make it um, uh, simpler if I can find. Yep, there's my list. So anyway, the first script will just read the temps and then I'll try and show it as a graph. I thought we could do this like step by step though, or several videos doing um, you know, different ways of reading and um, saving data. Yeah. The thing is that a lot of these examples I find on the internet, there are actually libraries that do the same, so I'm probably going to have to do some investigation. Sometimes I find raw code, and then sometimes I find out that there's actually a library that can do the same thing. So I know that actually there is a library for thermistors, and there is actually a library for uh, one wire so, um, temperature sensors for Arduino. So I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm going to use the libraries or the code that I downloaded. All of them seem. I haven't tested the library versions yet. And anyway, let's see. Um, yeah, well, that's how far we got uh, so far. So it'll be exciting to um, to see some temperatures actually coming out of there. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go off, and if time permits, I'm going to do create. Um, the logic that uh, reads all the three temperature sensors and displays and saves the information and then possibly go through a, a few variants of variations of um, actually working with the temperatures. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching this one. I'll see everybody later then. This was just a short update with the box. Bye-bye.